Hello everybody, when you download the Windows Live installer, it has several applications that you can choose from. The sign in assistant, the messenger, the writer, mail, toolbar, photo gallery, and the family safety. What happens with these programs is that once you download them onto your computer and you install them, if you need to reinstall it again, you have to go through the same process of double clicking again on the Windows Live installer and going through the whole setup. Whereas if you wanted to actually grab the original MSI fold, you know, file, the actual program, like let's say the original messenger, which is 17 megabytes, and you want to have this original one uh, to save it and reinstall it on another computer if you want to, without having to go through the whole thing, then it's really hard to find. Well, I'm going to show you in this video how to actually find it. First, you have to install it on one of the computers. So let's say I choose all these options and I install them onto the computer. It's going to go through the whole process. And, uh, you know, for Windows Vista, which I, I know I picked it here, but for Windows Vista, you don't need neither the photo gallery or the mail. These two things are already built into the uh, Windows Vista. I'm picking it here so you can see when I download them all how I can actually save the original file. This way, I can install them into, uh, let's say, a Windows XP machine that does not have the photo gallery or the mail included. Okay. Um, let me give this a few minutes to install and I'll come back and go over this with you. Okay, I'm done now installing the Windows Live installer. So I'm going to show you how to get the actual files that the system installed and where they're located. Click on uh, my computer, click on the C drive which is the local disk, click on program files, then click on common files. And in here, it's that folder is there but you can't see it so we need to activate this folder to see it um, in Windows Vista is different than XP in one thing we have to activate the menu bar that's up here that it doesn't exist um, Windows XP you already have that menu bar so we're gonna go ahead first in, X, in Vista and activate it so we're gonna go to organize we're gonna go to layout and click on menu bar once you do that now you have a menu bar on top which is file edit view tools and help uh, on Windows XP from this point on it's the same as Vista. Click on Tools, click on Folder Options, click on View, and then you're going to go down here and you're going to put Show Hidden Files and Folders. And then you're going to take out this check mark right here that says Hide Protected Operating System Files. So you're going to unclick that and it's going to give you a warning. Click Yes, then click OK, and now you see the folder in here, Windows Live Installer. Double click on that folder and inside that folder you're gonna see one that says MSI sources open that up and now you find in here several installations of all the ones that I did whereas the photo gallery the messenger the uh, live mail and so on um, if you notice these things have numbers and names you know and letters and stuff at the bottom here so it doesn't actually have the real name of the application so you don't know what you're installing on my website at irmistech.com I put you some uh, information that will show you what each of these translates to so you'll know which applications goes with what so you know if this is the live mail or the messenger and you can basically save all of these to a folder rename them and now you have them to reinstall them and distribute them across your network so if you're an IT guy this would actually be a great thing because it'll save you a lot of time and you'll be able to install them on multiple computers quickly if you're at home this will save you time because you can just put it on a, maybe a thumb drive and install it on your laptop quickly or uh, on your another computer in the home without having to go through the whole Windows Live installer application which takes a long time and sometimes it even hangs while it's installing. So basically remember, rem visit aramistech.com for more information on this review and the translation for each of these so it makes it a lot easier for you to rename it and reinstall them. So once you're done here you can go ahead and uh, turn off these functions. Remember to go back to Tools, Folder Options, click on View again, and remember to put Do Not Show Hidden Files or Folders and Hide Protected Operating System Files. So you have to make sure you follow this step again. Click OK. And it's going to show it here because I already have them open. But once you close this folder, okay, or let's say I go back here, uh, that folder will not appear here. See, it's gone now. It's not there anymore. But uh, you want to make sure you put it back the way it was only because that way it won't show you all the the system operating files on the computer you might delete something by mistake so you want to make sure you do put it back uh, in reverse of the steps I showed you okay um, thank you and I hope this tip helped you out so you can save this and save some time while you install these applications thank you